Okay. Velocity bench. Okay, most velocity prone. Lower left. Sniper side online training. I want to talk about the difference between bench shooting and prone shooting. Somebody came on to the sniper side online training and asked the question about different muzzle velocity off the bench versus prone. And what it comes down to is recoil management. And I just demonstrated it. We got a target down there and shooting it zeroed from the Prone versus from the bench are about a quarter of an inch, three-eighths of an inch off of each other. When I shoot prone, I get a muzzle velocity of 2716 average out of the 20-inch 260. When I come on the bench and I'm back, I'm just sitting in the chair and my recoil management pushes me back, my muzzle velocity goes down to 2697. Then, when I choke up on the bench and slide forward, get both my elbows on and square, managing recoil, my muzzle velocity goes back to 27.17. So I'm within one foot per second from the bench choked up versus prone, where I'm 20 feet per second different if I'm sitting back on the bench. That's recoil management. A 20 foot per second difference. So when you're shooting off a bench, you want to work the bench and get as far forward and manage the recoil. Uh, something really easy to do. Uh, the way these benches are designed with this cut is really not what you want. You actually want square across so you can put both elbows on there. This lets you lean forward, get your uh, shoulders in front of your hips and manage the recoil. When you're coming back, it's almost like a free recoil. It's throwing you off balance. That's what's changing the velocity. That's what's changing the point of impact. I'll have a picture down there for you to look at. 
but we got two variations about three-eighths of an inch apart and we have a 20 foot per second muzzle velocity difference so think about it Okay. Left edge. Hold. Hit. Knocked it over pretty good, but I still can get it. <laughs> 